Today I'm going to continue my little secret Arduino project and I need a screen for what I'm doing. So I had IC Station also send me a screen that I wanted to check out. This, believe it or not, is from the old Nokia bar phones or candy bar phones, like this one right here. Yeah, the old phones from the 90s. There's a ton of those screens available now and there's it. there it is on the board right now. It's a Nokia 5110 display. I believe it's like um, 84 characters by 48. So it has a half decent amount of real estate and it actually does work on the Arduino. The thing is, it says on the board, logic level 3 to 5. It really likes 3.3 volt logic. That's what it's made for. You can run it at 5, but from what I've read, and I haven't tested it myself, you might end up burning out the display prematurely. So it's best to use a 3.3 volt uh, Arduino like I'm going to use or get a logic level shifter to go from 5 volt to 3 volt so I'm going to do a quick demo on it show how to control the contrast on it and also how to PWM the LEDs in the background but you can read it perfectly fine in daylight without using the LEDs if you want to do a low power operation okay now that I have the screen wired up to the 3.3 volt Arduino Pro Mini uh, we're going to go to the Arduino IDE, which shows you exactly how to run the pins. So, let's shoot on over. Now, I've already preloaded an example from Adafruit. They call it the Adafruit PCD8544. And they have a whole web page on their learning system that shows you how to use it. So, we're going to load a PCD test. I'm going to open it up. As you can see, Adafruit did it. And here's their version of the product. This screen uses uh, SPI to communicate and there's two ways to do it. You can do it in software SPI which is the way that I have it set up over here or you can also do hardware SPI. Now I've tried both of them and I really don't see that much of a difference. I use software because it seems to work a little bit better because in my testing if you want to do like um, Arduino power downs and power save modes the hardware seems to drop out after a couple times, so I don't know what's up with that. Probably someone else, which knows Arduino a little bit better, can do it. But to fall back, always use software SPI, and it works great. Now, as you can see here, there's a couple different pins on here. You, going from left to right, you have reset, CE, DC, DN, CLK, VCC, BL, and ground. On... The sketch here that Adafruit has, pin 7 is your serial clock out, pin 6 is serial data out or DN, pin 5 is data command select or DC, pin 4 is LCD chip select which is CS or on this screen it's also called CE, and then pin 3 is your LCD reset. Now if this sketch does not have anything for the backlight. I have the backlight hooked onto a PWM pin of 9 on the Arduino, and we're going to mess with that in a minute. Once you've got all that set up, scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see right here, display contrast set for 50. If you want it darker, we can knock the number up. If you want it lighter, we can put the number down. But let's try the default 50, and let's upload the sketch. And it's a fairly big sketch, it's 16,000 bytes, so it takes a few seconds to upload. That's Adafruit splash screen, and then it goes through a demo. Now let's say we wanted to make it darker. Let's go back to the sketch, right here at the display set contrast, and let's change this to say 65. And let's re-upload the sketch. Give it a few seconds. Now you can see the screen is a lot darker and you can almost start making out the pixels but not so dark that everything's black. So you can also control it that way. Now for PWMing, give me a second, we're going to load up something else. Okay, add to the sketch real quick, this little section right here, PWM backlight on pin 9. We're going to set pin mode 9 to output and analog right to pin 9. 
PWM of 20. Remember, you can go from 0 to 255. So we're going to start out low and see how much this brings up the backlight so we don't burn it out. So let's upload. Now, as you can see, this has a blue backlight. It's barely on right now. So let's kick it up a little bit more. Let's go up to like 50. Re-upload again. You see it's a little bit brighter now. Let's try one more step. Let's go up to 100. Upload once more. Now you can see it's pretty freaking bright. But at the same time, also remember, if I unplug pin 9 and get rid of the backlight, you can still read the display perfectly fine if you want to do a low power operation. So, as you can see, it's a very easy screen to work with, and it's basically got about six lines of text resolution to it. I think about 20 characters or so, but it's not bad for a nice little screen that works directly with the Arduino, and it doesn't take much to interface with it. Just remember, if you're going to use a regular Arduino Uno or something like that, get a level shifting chip, which will change it from 5-volt logic to 3-volt logic, which this unit likes a lot better.